oh, we should go to dinner first. Dinner? You, you, you think I want to be seen in public with you? You, you think me, I'm going to be seen in public with you. There's no way in the world. Woo! Let's go, boys. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, guys, man, welcome back to another YouTube video. And I'm today, I'm here to tell you that the women who have these things run away from. This is going to be a list that I am telling you right now will change your life. I don't care how old you are. I don't care how young you are. You're watching this video. Women who have these things run away from them. Number one, a girl with an Instagram following surrounding her looks. 50 Cent recently, I seen on a podcast, he goes, if your looks are your biggest asset, you gonna do some 304 and that was that is the god honest truth these girls you see on instagram these ig models i have had more experience with them in terms of communication talking setting up dates even dealing with a few of them i'm telling you a lot of it is a lie the majority of it is a lie these girls are living double lives they are doing things that you don't know they're doing to get this money that they're getting. This lifestyle that they have. A lot of girls, guys, on Instagram that are posting booty pictures, that have OF, their whole life is to be a 304. Their whole life is to just get as much attention from men. They have forced themselves to be sexualized. I'm sorry. And this is a girl you do not want to, you do not want to deal with at all. What's even crazy? I'm gonna give you a personal note. This didn't even happen three days ago. One of these girls, like almost almost 100K followers, and I, I always have the worst experience with these girls. This is why I'm bringing this video, and this is my first point. I always have the worst experience with these girls because I know that they're living double lives. Most guys don't get to experience them, and, and I just know it's a bunch of BS, so I'm very, I'm way less tolerant with these girls. And this is talking about like even just communicate. If I if I go on your page and I see your half naked pictures all over your page, I'm instantly turned on. I don't want to have anything to do with these girls long term. It's I feel like they can sense it. They know I'm not the kind of guy that would take them really seriously. So it's kind of like we're button heads, right? And I'm okay with that. I, I don't have to deal with these kind of girls. I I prefer we not to, but they they come in my DMs every now and then. And I just fill them out and I'm just like, man, I this this kind of girl is not the girl for me. One of these girls the other day, this is not even three days ago, bro. She hit me up. Oh my god, you so hot. She got like almost 100 k Oh my god, you so hot. So and so and so. Like I look at her page. Uh then she, then I, I go to South Sun the date, right? Oh, we should go to dinner first. Dinner? You 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 think I wanna be seen in public with you? You you literally have uh, uh you your page is literally a porno you think me i'm gonna be seen in public with you there's no way in the world another one I, that's what i'm saying i've had a lot of experience with these girls as of late another one she be hitting me up she in miami oh when you coming down so and so and so or when i'm whenever i'm in miami be be blowing up blowing my phone up and then just it just the, the, the games is just these kind of girls bro leave them alone run away from them they they are serial attention 304s <laughs> serial attention whores bro they love your attention they have put themselves out there and their male attention means absolutely nothing to them that like you talking to them you just look like a regular loser like they don't they don't have no respect for you the only men they have respect for are super ballers guys with a lot of status that want to that want to give them the lifestyle I, they, they just disgust me bro i don't i'm i've seen too many of them as of late that i'm just like i know what you about they look good not gonna lie all right but th that's where it stops the them looking good is is, is the best you're gonna get everything else is is garbage personality doesn't exist long term doesn't exist but a lot of guys, you fantasize about these girls because you just don't have that experience with them. And I understand that, right? But I'm telling you, man, it's not what it's cut out for. These girls, they just don't, 
Mm-mm. Mm-mm. If I go on any girl's page and I see this kind of content, instantly turned off. I just, I would not want to take her seriously. I ain't taking her on no date. Either she coming over or, and leaving or nothing. We have nothing to discuss. I don't want to be seen with you. I'm sorry. This is who you've made yourself to be. I'm not taking a girl seriously who's not taking herself seriously. It's up to you. <laughs> you, can, you decide to do that to yourself. This is what women do with simps as well. If you go and overvalidate girls and you start giving them too much attention, they don't respect you. They don't have to respect you. Number two, a girl who has a thing for Pookie and Ray Ray. Guys, I have never been the kind of guy that I would say the hood streak kind of like black chicks were into. And as for the most part, I've seen guys get in a lot of trouble for this, talking about this. I'm not scared to talk about nothing. I don't give a damn. A lot of the, these like, and I wouldn't say all, but the hip hop culture in America has separated like the black girls. And usually the girls who are, and this is not just black girls. This could be Latina, white, whatever. They have a group of girls. I don't want to just categorize black chicks, but they have a group of girls who are into Pookie and Ray Ray's. These girls you want to run away from. They like the hood dudes, the gangbangers, the guys who are in and out of jail. Leave them dudes for them. I do not want to deal with a girl that is into Pookie and Riri because that girl will look at you like a punk because you're not out here getting in trouble. <laughs> you're not out here gangbanging like an idiot. You just can keep it a buck. They like idiots. Right? They're, they're turned on by idiots. That's not my kind of girl. I like girls who have things to lose. I like girls who like respectable, hardworking men. I don't like girls who like gangbangers and street dudes and dudes are in and out of jail because they want to look tough. Those dudes are just idiots to me, you know what I'm saying? Being in and out of jail, you're just an idiot to me. You're not a gangster. A gangster, let me tell you what a gangster is, guys. A gangster is a dude who defies all odds, becomes extremely successful, makes millions of dollars legally, doesn't get in any trouble, takes care of his family. He did it even though it was difficult. That's a gangster. So all you young guys watching this video, all you guys who maybe you, are, you you look at their life and you think it's cool, it's stupid. It's not cool. It's not cool at all. Them dudes are bums. All them hood dudes that you see gang banging and doing all this stupid stuff, you think they cool, they're bums. Their IQ is not high enough to be able to figure out another way. That's just what it is. Call me what you want to call me. I'm going to tell you the truth. Because I've seen a lot of successful dudes who don't have to do that. And if you have to do that, you're a bum. And you can't give me no excuse. I was born in Africa. I was born in, in Lagos, Nigeria. I didn't move to America until I was nine. Single parent. What is your excuse? I don't want to hear it. Ain't no system against you. You're just a bum. Because my mom was able to take me as an immigrant from Nigeria to America and look at me now. What is your excuse? If you're born in America talking about some the system against you, get the hell out of here. You're just lazy. So guys, leave leave those people to themselves. You're watching FedEx Feelers. You have a, a, a bright, a good head on your shoulders. You have a bright future ahead of you that does not include jail or being dead. I want you to stick with that life, the life that of success. And if you see girls that are into that kind of stuff, let them be. Oh no, I'm not your type at all, baby. <laughs> I don't want to be your type. I, I'm the clean cut black dude that likes a, a future. <laughs> Right, and that's what I want to encourage other men. No matter if you're white, black, Asian, Latino, whatever, whatever color you are, bro, pick women that are not into the stereotypical bad boy who needs to do dumb shit because he's cool. Those women have horrible decision making. They pick the worst mates. And if, if you're dealing with that kind of girl, she might start encouraging you to do dumb shit because she thinks it's cool, ruin your life. Don't be involved. Number three, a good girl with three or four friends. Guys, a good girl with three or four friends doesn't really exist. I believe it was my man, King Dre. I seen the video of his, he was like, your girl don't have whole friends, she's a whole. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Your girl ain't the good girl out of the group and all her friends are three or fours, she's a three or four too. You know what I'm saying? So. Girls who are three or fours hang around three or fours. Just because your girl is acting like she's different from her friends doesn't mean she's really different. There's no good girl with three or four friends. Good girls hang around good girls. Girls with 
who, who like are super, super into family values. They want to purity. They hang around the, those girls like that. If your girl is a good girl and all her friends are three or fours, she's a three or four in disguise. Because guess what? When you're not there, they're talking to her. She's listening to their opinions. She's listening to the way that they operate. Eventually, sooner or later, she's going to start in, involving herself in those activities. Guarantee you. There's no such thing as a good girl with three or four friends. Either she's a three or four in disguise, or sooner or later, she's going to be she's gonna be just one of them, or even worse. Or she's already like that, and she's just pretending to you like she's not. Number four, a girl that can't let go of her boy best friends. Guys, we need to start putting our foot down and stop tolerating BS. We need to stop acting like we're so stupid. We're not that dumb, baby. Guys ain't that stupid. Your boy best friend want to hit. You're keeping him as a possible option. You're using him for attention and validation. You're using him as a possible replacement for me. Get rid of him. You decide, me or him. Boy, if you see a girl that is just so, I've seen a lot of girls like this, bro. I would even see girls in the gym. I've been in plenty of gyms in my life, and I'm telling you, I've seen girls that are just like this. They go in the gym, they hugging 20 dudes. I'm like, baby, you do not know this many dudes that cool, that close to Super friendly with so many guys. That is a turn off. Not saying you're gonna be a, a bad person or you just don't talk to anybody, but an, anytime you see a girl that is super close with a, so many guys, she's a dot. All right, she has a lot of boy best friends. A lot of those dudes want to hit. They're playing their part or they have tried to hit and then she still keep them as an option. Because any woman that is dating a guy seriously, you understand that most men, if given the opportunity, will sleep with you. So if you keep that part of your life, if you keep those dudes, even after you know they would sleep with you, or even if you're not sure if they would sleep with you, get rid of them. You got girls walking in the gym they're getting kissed on by several dudes. Like, I've literally seen dudes cuff girls like that in the gym. The girl be hugging on 20 different dudes. A month later, one dude and cuffed her. Like, my G, I didn't have to speak to the girl to know she your, she your thought. She's for the streets. So a girl that just has that many boy best friends, she likes the attention she gets from guys. She knows those guys want to sleep with them. And if you're in a relationship, do not tolerate this, bro. Number five. A girl who is too attached to her family. So this is kind of a little bit going away from um, what I mentioned earlier. Like you want a girl with family values, but you don't want a girl whose all her decision making has to go through her family. This is a, another girl you need to run away from because she will never be able to make a decision on her own. Her relationship is going to be run on her side through her family. Her family decides everything. You don't want a girl that is too, too attached to her family. You want a girl with family values. You want a girl who loves her family and cares for her family. But what her family says is not the end all be all in terms of y'all's relationship. She doesn't let outsiders interfere with you guys' relationship because a relationship is, is between two people. You guys have to make the relationship work. What her mom and aunt saying, what her uncle saying, what your mom and aunt saying, what your uncle saying doesn't really matter. And if she's too attached to her family, she's gonna take their word into consideration a lot. She's gonna be very, very impressionable by her family. What her family members tell her is probably what she's gonna do. And that relationship is gonna be super, super toxic. I guarantee you. Anytime you're dealing with a girl that just, every decision she makes, she needs to run it by somebody in her family, get rid of her. It's not gonna end well for you because they're, they're not on your side, by the way. They're just telling her what they think is best for her, even if it means at your cost. You guys gotta remember this. When people have friends, those people are giving them advice based on what they think is best for them. They might not be, they might not be correct. They're not really giving them advice on what's good for the relationship. They're just giving the girl advice based on what they think is good for her. And it can be at your cost. You wanna have communication with your girl on what's best for you guys in your relationship. Not what's best for one person and not the other person. Not what somebody else thinks is best. What do you guys think is better for your relationship? If a girl is too attached to her family, it's going to be what they think and not what y'all think. <laughs> Lastly, a girl into vaping, smoking, or drinking. 
I was walking around the mall as I was typing this just yesterday, and I seen a girl, like she looked like she was maybe 15, vaping. I was like, man, this is unbelievable. Guys, this is a this is a clear, 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 clear instance that a girl is not mature. She's making bad decisions. She's going down the wrong path. Vaping, smoking, and drinking are uh, non-negotiables for me. I will not date a girl who smokes, drinks, or vapes. And you need to run away from this kind of girl as well. Her decision making is not going to be the best. She's already into the culture of, of instant gratification. Any girl who's into instant gratification will cheat on you. Will sleep around. Will have a high body count. Will do three or four stuff. That is a clear indicator. I know you might think I'm crazy, but it is a clear indicator. Instant gratification means you don't have discipline. If you fall for instant gratification, it means you don't have discipline. If you're so into instant gratific- gratifying things, you're not going to do things that might that might be beneficial for you long term. You're not going to make decisions that might be beneficial for you long term. You're going to look at what's beneficial for you now. What makes you look cool now? This is a very, very clear instance, a very, very clear example of a girl that will cheat on you, that will sleep around, that will be promiscuous. Any girl who smokes, drinks, or vapes is into instant gratification. We're over here trying to be fit, rich, handsome, successful. We're working, we're putting deposits of hard work right now so in three, five years, we can we can rip, reap the fruits of our labor, right? We're working on a delayed gratification because we know 